Looking at this rubble behind me, some might call it amazing, but no one was hurt. As you can see, this dry ice, it looks okay from a distance, but if you look up close, it's iced over and very, very dangerous. And it's a similar situation with all the roads that's already kicked off and everybody is very enthusiastic about it. We've got 16,000 people out here today. The defense and prosecutors have referred to him as a monster and a liar in the past. But Galker said there was one thing he wanted to make clear in the courtroom today. You do the math as it stands for what they define as frequent commuters or people who travel at least 20 days a month. That's $1 each way, which is $2 a day. And then you multiply that by five days a week. That's $10 a week. And then four weeks a month is $40. Multiply that by 12 months a year, you get $480. And that's just for the frequent commuters. Those who travel less than that will have to pay at least $2 each time around. When you lose that job, a part of you is just gone forever. A mother oh, now prepares for her son's yeah, favorite holiday sure. without him. <laughs> he loved Christmas. He was like a big kid. He was my baby. She wonders why no one has been punished for taking her child's life. Chad McQuilling died in the hospital weeks after a hit and run on I-64. Cheryl McQuilling says she understands it was a dangerous situation when her son ran out of gas on the interstate. However, it wasn't the accident that upset her the most, but what happened in the moments after. If he had stopped, if he had rendered aid, if he had helped, that's an accident, but you don't leave a human being laying on a highway or a road or anywhere to die. Records show Officer Chris Thurman was initially assigned to the case in early September and investigators located what they call an involved person. Well, Officer Thurman had indicated that, um, you know, there were certain charges that um, this, this individual had admitted to. From that time, we were told uh, that an indictment would be brought down. Thurman is now under investigation for falsifying his timesheet. After the 19th of September, we've no indication that anything has occurred in this case. We have to presume that's because of Officer Thurman's uh, investigation uh, or his being investigated. Police say the case has been reassigned and handed over to the Commonwealth's attorney. They cannot comment on pending charges, but say justice takes time. Individual prosecutors, they don't want to rush in and get an indictment. If they see something out there that may be a problem, I applaud them for holding things up. We have no statute of limitations to prosecute a felony case. I wouldn't want to speculate as to what work had been done or hadn't been done, but uh, none of the things that we were promised that were happening have happened. But for a grieving mother, whatever the reason, the timing for justice is just not fast enough. I love you, Mama. <laughs> I'll never hear it because he took my child's life. Protect us and um, keep us safe. They call them heroes of the hallways. And they're kind of like the rock star for the day. All right, see y'all tomorrow. Walk Everybody's got a smile on their face. And like, who is that? And I'm like, that's my dad. They're known as watchdogs or dads of great students. Me always growing up, it was always moms in the schools. That was all you ever heard of. Most kids don't feel safe without their dads or moms at school. It's a national program that was started by a concerned father after a middle school shooting in Arkansas in 1998. Many of our kids don't have dads at home or positive dad role models. More male presence in the schools is better for the children, you know, they, it's just to ease their mind. You know? Our kids look to the school as a safe place and these watchdog dads are people the kids already know and so it's a natural fit, somebody they can trust. The program has been at Old Mill Elementary in Bullitt County for three years, a school that had a shooting threat just this week. We have about 40 dads, granddads, uncles, friends of families. Reading to kids, having kids read to them, they do spelling words, flashcards. He helps us with our work. We do math facts, um, we do our work. Then you, you, if you can give them 10 minutes of time that can really change their day and make them feel more positive about themselves. And for the little ones, afraid in a big place. It makes me happy that they're doing it. I feel good and I feel protected when my dad's here and the other watchdogs, they make me feel safe. 
But for the protectors... Oh, it's indescribable. Oh, it makes their day and it makes my day more than theirs. Oh, it's one of the warmest feelings I've ever had. It gives you a sense of satisfaction that you really can't explain. Some may do things just like this every day without realizing it. There are numerous of things behind the uh, Eating while driving can be distracting. Uh, of course, uh, having uh, other people in the vehicle that are distracting you as the driver, loud music, changing the CD. But police say that is just as dangerous as texting and driving. Distractive driving is one of our major issues when it comes to our fatalities and our injury accidents. And in today's on-the-go society... People are tethered to their phones, they're addicted to their phones. It causes more problems. A lot of calls on people who are weaving on the roadway. And just because you do not have your fingers on your phone does not mean your sights are in the right spot. The high schools, corporate events, community events, um, and other events where we have a captive audience. It's been around for eight years, but transportation officials say the need has grown in that time. Distracted driving is becoming a bigger problem every year. It's, we think it's an epidemic. The simulator allows the driver to cruise, turn, brake, and coast through lifelike situations. The results after the course show your reaction when your eyes are on and off the road. And then you cut your braking time almost in half. I ended up getting a crash course on what happens when I tried to use the phone while also attempting to drive. I'm like, oh no, I hit a motorcyclist. While you're looking down and texting, you can travel the length of a football field. Looking away for even a second made it nearly impossible to steer clear of certain obstacles. Whoa, I gotta switch the lens to make sure it's looking at me. Ooh, just missed that guy. This is just virtual reality, but if you're in an actual car, you could be putting your life and the lives of others at risk when you drive distracted. And it only takes one time for you to realize what a grave mistake you've made by texting and driving. Police say they are cracking down, and they say the punishment will mean more than game over. In Frankfurt, Paige oh, no. Quiggins, WDRB News. Draco! And Draco! When one sees a group of individuals adorned in stainless steel and jewels, armed with shields, they might think they're playing dress up. Around 35 pounds, all told. Uh, it doesn't feel like that once you get it on and once you get used to it. But those who are a part of the Society for Creative Anachronism say it is anything but make believe. We are a recreation group, not necessarily reenactment. Groups across the country and the world come together at events throughout the year to suit up in their own recreations, dating back to the 14th century. The SCA started uh, at Berkeley in the 1960s, and it's been going strong since. We have 30,000 members, approximately 19 kingdoms. The Louisville area's kingdom is known as the Barony of the Flame. Members come to rehearse for battles where strength is shown, talents are exposed, and honor is gained. Individual skill is all that matters. It's not based on how long you've been in. Uh, there are no rankings, there are no belts. It's if you can hit the other person, then you're the victor. They say this is not to be confused with live action role playing or LARPing. We at least try to have a toehold on historical reality. Nobles say it is not all about combat in the SCA. Do a lot of brewing and venting of beers and wines. There are people that uh, do a lot of calligraphy and illumination for our scrolls. Just about everyone sews at least a little bit. As I've gotten older and had more time and more money, I've gotten more involved, and it's really like a second family to me. Those of every class in the hierarchy will launch a battle this weekend in the kingdom of the Barony of the Flame. Paige Quiggins, WDRB News.